State your name, please. Ed Krasinski. Do you confess to sending out 16 bombs? Well, yes, I do. Was there a specific target for these bombs? I mean, probably offices and computer stores. Was there any reason for these specific targets? I only cared about the economic and the foundation technology of modern society. Can you expand a little bit on that? Well, I hated the Industrial Revolution, and I hated how people were getting so involved with technology. Tell me a little bit about your first attack. Hi, I have a package. Thank you. The package was meant to be sent to the professor of engineering at Illinois' Northwestern University. Can I have campus ready? On my way. I wanted the victim main, but he called campus security and instead the bomb injured the security officer. Hi, professor, what seems to be the problem? I got this package, but I'm not sure who it's from. Could you open it for me? Yeah, sure. Did you have any personal connections with this target? No. What made you choose him? I chose the target because he was helping advance the Industrial Revolution by teaching students engineering. Do you know of any injuries these victims sustained? The security guard injured his hand and needed to have surgery, but nothing life-threatening. I hoped that the victim would be blinded or have his hand blown off or be otherwise maimed. Well, we didn't learn. I wish I knew how to get a hold of some dynamite. Three out of 16 of your bombs were successful in taking lives. Tell me about the first life that you took. The first person I killed was the operator of the Rat and Tech computer store in Sacramento. Mr. Scruton, can you please take that trash out? It was a pipe bomb that I had mailed and was planted outside at the back of the store. And did you know this victim personally? No, I did not. Any reason then that you chose Rentec Computer Store? I chose that location because I am fully against technology and it is harming society. Do you know exactly how severe the explosion was? Well, enough to kill a guy. I mean, he was blown to bits. Experiment 976, December 11th, 1985. I planted a bomb disguised to look like a scrap of lumber behind Rantec Computer Store in Sacramento. The operator, owner, manager of the store was killed, blown to bits. Tell me a little bit about the last attack you were able to pull off. My last attack was addressed to a past head of the lobbying organization, William Dennison. Package delivery. But that target was not reached. Oh great, I can take that from you. Correct. The bomb instead killed a man named Gilbert Murray. Hey Gilbert, can you help me open this box really quick? Do you know why the bomb was unsuccessful in reaching the target? No. Why did you choose William Dennison? I chose him because he pitted the timber industry against environmentalists. Did you have any connection to this timber industry? I love wood. How extreme was the explosion that Gilbert endured? Let's just say his family only got to see the bottom half of him. Do you regret reaching the wrong target? No, I have no regret. Gilbert was just the wrong man. My ambition is to kill a scientist, big businessman, government official, or the like. I would also like to kill a communist. Will you state your name? David Krasinski. How did you know that your brother was the Unabomber? I saw his manifesto in the New York Times and I knew that it was his writing. What did you do after you recognized your brother's writing? Uh, I contacted authorities and we compared other writings of his that were confirmed to his manifesto and they matched. What were you feeling when the FBI found your cabin in Lincoln, Montana? At that point, I just didn't resist my arrest. 
Why did you choose Lincoln, Montana? It is very small and outdoorsy, and I am a hermit. Did you attempt to plead innocent when captured? No. What are you sentenced to, and what are your charges? I am sentenced to life in prison, and I am charged with 10 counts of transportation, mailing, and use of bombs, and three counts of murder. Is there anything else that you want on record? I have no regrets, and I want my manifesto to be published to the world. All right, thank you, Mr. Krasinski.